Palvanov, who's so asking, how do you validate the idea before spending time building it? I think, yeah, first of all, come up with an idea. And it's normally a pain point. There's a lot of examples where you in your lives will know a frustration of a consumer. Um, you look at actually what's Richard Branson, we've just announced him for Sage Summit. He's an innovator. He's a disruptor. He's probably one of the greatest world's entrepreneurs. And he's tried a lot of ideas. Some have failed and he's left them behind. He's failed fast and then moved quickly. But he, he always looks at kind of where's the gap in the market, it, it, whether it's travel, whether it's music. Uh, what is it that we can create with our idea that's going to change the world? And it comes back to what value we create and who we serve in, what problem we solve in. Um, and I think the, the key thing is there's a guy uh, as well, Richard Reed, who started a, a big um, a smoothie company called Innocent. And he said, you know, all you need to do is be 70 percent sure of your idea and then just crack on and, and get your idea out there as a business because you will evolve it. And I think the worst thing you can do is sort of analysis paralysis, try and come up with the best idea in the world. And because uh, that's not real. You, what you need to do is shape your idea sufficiently. Go and uh, meet friends, meet uh, buddies, maybe angel investors. Well, I've angel invested in a lot of companies. People have said, look, I, I don't want you to invest today, but I've got an idea. I might come back to you in six months' time when I've got a kind of couple of trial customers uh, and I ask you to invest. But today I just want to test drive the idea and kind of you, you kind of bat it around, you reshape it and you let me think about it and then I'll go away and build a business based on that. So I kind of think the key thing is um, think about those key questions, those friends, like what's the audience you're serving, what value you're providing, how are you going to make a difference and kind of what is the thing that about your idea that is going to be life changing and provide massive value for hopefully millions of people. I love it. I, I, it's never been easier to test drive an idea with with services like Kickstarter out there where all you need is a, an idea or a prototype and then make a video and tell people about it. Uh, it's never been easier to go out and get customers before actually having to launch and then going to manufacturing. I just ordered a little nano drone that fits in the palm of your hand and that uses a GPS to follow you around while you're like running or skiing or whatever and it, it records it and then uploads it to the cloud. And I bought that off of an Indiegogo campaign and they raised over $3 million to create this nano drone. And they may not have known if it was a good idea or not. They may have you know, jumped in too soon. They may have had to test and tweak along the way, but this is validation. And now they have the money they need you know, that's that's all marketing dollars. That's not even getting investors into their business. They're not giving up any equity and they raise three million dollars in in money to be able to build their product. And so it's never been easier to use the technology today to test drive and see if there's an appetite uh, for your product. And if not, then maybe you need to tweak it because rarely is the idea that you start with where you end up. There's always tweaks and changes. And so having market feedback as soon as possible, so you're not just creating the vacuum can be really helpful. Yeah, I agree. On Kickstarter, you know what, they've raised $2 billion, um, $2 billion 10, 10 million uh, backers now, what, 100,000 projects. And I think you're right, Evan, not only is there's never been a better time to have an idea, there's never been a better idea to do things like crowdfunding. I think the key thing is you need to own your idea. You need to, and it comes back to Evan's tank life, believe. You, you never want to abdicate kind of responsibility for your idea. But don't be kind of too precious about your idea because take feedback, especially from early customers, and improve your idea all the time. Improve your product, improve your service. Because as Evan said, I, I, again, I'm an angel investing in a lot of companies. And when I've seen the first business plan, and some of these companies have grown to like valuations over 100 million, um, the first business plan and what they ended up with was pretty radically different. But boy, oh boy, did they test drive and find out what worked. Uh, before they really scaled it up. And then it, it, they iterated it all the time. And I think the world is uh, perfectly tuned to that uh, in terms of speed of execution, the speed of now. Yeah, you know, you look at BMW, they started as an airplane manufacturing company. That's why their logo is a propeller still. Uh, Lamborghini started off in tractors yeah. and then went into cars when he bought a Ferrari and Ferrari told him, you know, don't tell me how to make a car. You stick to making tractors. And he said, I'm going to make a better car than you got into Lamborghinis. And so it's a great point. And, and your business will change. My business has changed. I don't know how much Sage's business has changed from the start point to where it is now. 
Uh, I know you just made that huge announcement and you're all in on the cloud and uh, you know, business will change from the original idea to, to where you end up going, what will make you successful? 